Hello everyone, welcome to APS tutorial. This is Tulsi and today I am going to teach you the basic box model in CSS and you are going to be so excited. We have seen mostly while surfing on web browser that the content and all the images of the page and all the links and notations, references etc are well organized and also look appealing. Think about how this can be arranged and realized on the web. Let me make you understand something called a box model in HTML and CSS. CSS box model refers to how HTML elements are modeled on a search engine. We can understand the CSS box model by imagining a box that wraps around every HTML element on the web page. It specifies the dimensions to the element and inclusively cover ups every single element to compose a web page. It is used to design and create layout for a web page or website. With CSS box model properties, we can design and align more complex layouts. Box model has multiple properties in CSS. It consists of four important properties as shown in the slide. They are first one is margin. Margin are used to create space around the elements outside the border. It can be set to the left right top bottom using all four values or declaring one or more individual values second one is border this property is used to display the border of an element border attributes like border styling changes the border appearance we'll discuss it later third one is padding padding refers to space between the content area and the border properties for setting a padding are padding top bottom right left Content area, the fourth one. This represents the content of the page like text, image and other media. It is bound by the content edge and properties used to set it are height and width. Border style. While working with a border style, we can set different values like dotted, dashed, solid, round type of borders. Border style property has one of the four values top border, bottom border, right border and left border. The border style provides dotted, dash, inset, outset, groove, doubled, rich property which affects borders display. Border width. It will define the width of the four borders. Width can be set by using predefined values, thin, medium, thick or by specifying size in uh, px or uh, that is pixel or pt that is point border color coloring property set color of the four borders by defining border value border color name rgb value hex value hsl value transparent with css we can style individual side borders by different colors uh, margin value while working with the margin bottom to set margin area on the bottom of an element we can give two values setting a positive value place the margin bottom are farther from the its neighbor elements that is towards right or down and setting a negative value places the margin bottom area closer to its neighboring elements that is left and up padding as we have seen earlier padding will create space around the content to control on each side view Padding can be controlled by altering property values like length, width of the element, content, area. If we set a high value of padding, the border moves outwards from the elements and with low value of padding, the border moves over the elements. This is what it looks like. The content is altered with box model properties. Box sizing property. It specifies how the width and height of an element are calculated. However, these properties do not include border margin and padding. It is used to set the inside area. This property has values like auto, length, initial, inherit, which helps to size the content box. Let us look at them individually. Auto. Browser calculates height or width automatically. Length. Specifies the length, height, width, length in pixels. There are two types, absolute and relatives. Absolute length defines exact size while relative one uh, defines value related to the other length property. Initial sets a default value and inherit value inherit from the parent element. 
let us now see simple example for the box model here we given parameter to the div element div open curly brackets with 300 px border 15 px solid green padding 50 px margin 20 px close curly brackets these properties render a box model with definite border and a color around the content finally i would like to conclude with the following points all the elements can be thought of as boxes in box model box model consists of four parts margin border padding and the actual content area the width and height of an element are calculated using the box sizing property the units of the length measurements in css are either absolute or relative